Last night, a lawyer complained about you. Today, another lawyer. Wait, wait. Okay, first of all, that lawyer that complained about me literally made shit up. This anyway. is a pattern. Are you? I'm asking you a question. Am I able to like, like? You no. can't. You shouldn't lie, but you can withhold. Okay, but what if I was like, I saw you go into the car. Why'd you do it? But I really didn't. But I was trying to get him to admit that he did. Is that fine. <sighs> is that? I don't. I think you can lie. I don't think that's a. A wee bit. A wee bit suggestive, but you can't like I feel force like them or what's the, the other word and trap them. No, 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 no. I didn't do that. That's what this guy's complaining about. He's like, oh, you can't mm -hmm. do that. You just fucking did that. That's not cool. Okay. Well, I got to go in there now. Wish me luck. Okay. He's, he's, it's Robin Alice. He's a little, little yeah, Michael Simone, Ray Romanov fucking stand. Yeah. Looks exactly like them. Listen, the city it doesn't have enough lawyers. I, I sometimes Roman I have Alice. to. Oh my god. I literally did my job, Ruby. I'm gonna get fucking complained about it. For real. Mr. Mason, out of another. If I get off duty, he can't complain, right? I go 42, that's it. Hey, folks, how you doing? I'll let you go off, Jenny. Oh, you're. Conan! You wanna leave? I want to be here when you complain about me. No, you can't be here. Cry baby back, Ray Romanov. Okay, Conan. Hey. Okay. Well, as you can see there, he, you know, clearly, I'm, I'm going to be whispering for this since he likes to, literally come in every he single fucking like time. Here. Yeah. He he literally came in so many times when I was trying to talk to Jimbo alone, to listen in to the conversation because uh, Good I had Lord, to complain help me. Him, right. Okay. He, he. Mm -hmm. Go away. That, that, was, that was someone else. Oh no, she's involved too. So she's probably gonna give him information. Anyways, oh no. Um, I just had a client down in the cells, Sylvain Bosse, right? He was trying to get DNA from my client for criminal transaction of drugs and misdemeanor amounts of marijuana. I told him, where's the violent felony in that? He then, you know, spun things saying he could throw the book at him, you know, give him all the charges. I'm like, what charges? Mm -hmm. um, he then came in with one Josh Cade, if I'm saying that correctly, Jimbo. Jimbo. Okay. Okay, I guess he's... Yeah, keep, yeah. keep going. What was it, sorry? I, I asked, was it Josh Cade? The other cop? Yes. Yes. Okay. Came in with Josh Cade saying that he had gotten approval to get oh. DNA from my client for criminal possession and oh, no. criminal transaction of drugs and for misdemeanor amounts of marijuana. Said that he, oh. you know, 100% got <laughs> permission. I asked him, from what judge? They said, that's none of your business. It is actually my business in all senses since it's my client. Oh, boy. So I just had an officer straight up lie to me saying that they got direct fucking permission from a judge to take DNA over charges that are not violent felonies. Literally walked in and did that, Ruby. And then they said, oh, no, 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 all this. They kept going in and out of the thing. Jimbo witnessed all of this. He knew what was happening. Jimbo said the following. I'm you you can go in there and ask if he will give up his DNA willingly, but if not, you know, that's it. That is what Jimbo said. But they came in there straight up lying, saying a judge gave them permission, Ruby. <laughs> that right there is not fucking good. And that is a lawsuit against the fucking PD right there. And you know that for a fact. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. Those two officers should not have their job because of this. Now, you can call me Karen. He can call me Karen, whatever the fuck. I do not care right now when he is legitimately trampling on somebody's rights and everything uh. else. Jimbo then also witnessed Conan come up to me while I was having a private conversation with him about the interaction down there and go off on me. Guys, be nice. Be nice, chat. Be nice. I do not understand how <laughs> an officer... Be nice, be can nice. ...can do this and not be punished. I'm oh. going to be very... He's going to be punished. 
honestly, he should not have a job if that is what he is going to do. If him and that other officer are going to get get up and come in front of me and lie Be nice, chat. about Be getting nice, an okay please. from a judge, it's role play. DNA, it's role play. That is not allowed. They should not have their jobs with that, and you know it. Now, I'm probably going to be taking this up to Angel, in all honesty. I'm, I'm going to be very honest with you on this, because that right there is fucked up. So, you know, if you want to call, call them in here and, you know, get their side of it, go ahead. So I, I'm, I'm going to say this one more time, just, just for it. I don't think they, they said they got approval. And then you said what judge, and they said, we don't have to tell you that. They never said that they got approval from a judge. I asked what judge. There, he yeah. said, that's none of my business. That is so, my business. When he says that, if, I, if I'm asking you Chat, be nice. Be approval, nice, chat, please, please. Then that means that you have to tell me which judge gave you approval. I understand that, but what I'm telling you, they didn't say we got approval from a judge. That's what I'm saying. All okay, I'm so saying. they got approval. Okay, let's say that. They mm -hmm. got approval. I asked, who'd you get approval from? They didn't answer. I said, what judge gave you approval? They didn't answer. They are literally trying to cover their asses right here. Now, <laughs> How is he that, listening? To try and do Where that. is he? Is he over at that fire exit? You know, Cheeky they, little when bugger. When they said, that's none of my business, that is the biggest issue right there. Yeah, well, that's another story. I mean, uh, I literally asked them what judge gave them approval. Yeah, they, so they, they said none of my business. They okay. said higher ups at first, and then Roman asked what judge, and then they said none of your business. Oh, okay. so they did. Okay, so did you give them approval to get DNA, Jimbo? I told you exactly what I said to you. All right. I told them that they can go inside, they can ask for the DNA. If the guy said no, then. They, I told them that they can't uh, ask again. You know. All right. No, so just so uh, now that I'm hearing between the the two of uh, sides here, uh, they did not say they got approval from a judge. Correct? They said they got approval. It, it's it's. I, I know it sounds stupid, but it is a big deal. So they said they got approval. Roman assumed at that point. How that he did he get judge, in? And then he never, uh, you know, corrected him or whatever. He just said, uh, I don't have to tell you or whatever, right? What the actual fuck? What? Ruby, you want to take this one? What's going on? Go look over there. I just want to point out, I never said judge. The word judge never came out of my mouth. So stop Conan? fucking lying. Conan, Ray get out of here. Get out of here. Stop fucking lying, Ray Romanow. Conan! Oh, I mean, go Romo. outside, I'm Conan! Sorry. I mean, Romanow. Shut up! Go outside! Ruby. Jesus Christ, dude. Is this actually someone that we need on the fucking streets, in all honesty? He's definitely making this shit work. I, I'm not even going to um, entertain your question, okay? Yeah, uh, sure. we're going, I know. I know. Yep, we're, no, we're going okay. back to where we were, okay? Woo! We're going right back to where we were. Okay, so... <laughs> oh, chat! They didn't say the judge. They got approval. They got approval from Jimbo to go in there and ask for it, right? They then kept on saying they got approval. They can get his DNA. When I asked that, I asked them, what judge gave you approval? Don't be mean to the characters role-playing, folks. Don't be mean. The member is going to allow them to get DNA through... Any fucking means, unless it is a violent felony. I know this for a fact. I know you. Yeah, we we all that. know that. Yeah. Yes. So I asked what judge gave them that. They said that's none of my business. It is actually my business to know, in all regards, and you know this. And when he wouldn't right. tell me that, when he wouldn't tell me that, that calls into question their fucking, like their whole fucking thing right there. So so they you called you called his bluff, right? Yeah, sure. I called his bluff. Let's go with that. Whatever. The the thing is this: they shouldn't withhold information, and that right there is information. Well, I, uh, Ruby, correct uh, me if I'm wrong. If you're talking an investigation, are you allowed to lie to the uh, suspects to try to get information? Oh, uh, we can we can say all sorts of things, but we can't yeah. um we can't put words in their mouth. I suppose that's correct. the best way to put 
Put it. Asking questions on fire, Jesus Christ. Please. If my client didn't have a lawyer there, he would have just given his DNA up, which is crazy. Why the fuck well, does it's... he have a gun? I don't think he would have. Why the fuck does he have a gun well, drawn? Well, first of all, guys, just so you know, um, people do voluntarily give us DNA with or without a lawyer. It, it does happen, okay? Some people are just like, fine, uh, even if the lawyer is present. So it does happen from time to time. Uh, it is something that we do try because... For all we know, if someone does go ahead and consent, that DNA can lead to greater things that maybe we've been investigating for a long time. Um, he was made to feel like he had no consent, like he had to give the DNA up. That's the scary part. Were you present uh, at that time? or? Yeah, yeah I was in there. So, so yeah. what did I tell you, right? So uh, when at that point when you guys said no and he said, from what judge, I stepped in. I said, guys, you can't take his DNA. He has denied it. Yeah, and then after, I took them outside and I talked to them about the judge, and then he said I don't consent, and yeah. they started backtracking. It's like a migraine. They, were, they knew they did something. Yeah, wrong. because you called his bluff. Yeah. You know, Listen, if this uh, is, I, you know, I get, I get the general. Uh, I'm getting the general understanding of what's going to be said here. I guess, I guess I will take it to where I need to take it if I have to. That this boy. is the shit that is fucked up. An unprofessional officer. That you know, when asked a question, they say it's not my information. It's not my fucking information to have. It is my information to have when it's my client. You know, when, when, if he had not said, it's not you. You don't need to know that. If he had not said that, would have been fine, hundred sure. percent. I know the lock noises but, out. You know, when they're he trying says, every door that, possible. That's an issue. Because even in okay. a high command situation, if you had given them the okay from it. And they said your name, I'd be cool with it, but they wouldn't give me any name. So, well, High Command know. would not give them approval, you know that. So it would be. Oh, yeah, no, code, but right? it, it's still it's still the thing. Can they I can I a ask a question? Where did this take place? In an interrogation booth? In interrogation. Yes. With lawyers present? With lawyers present. Okay, so when that happens, Roman, uh, I'm going to be honest with you, when it's something that we've been looking into for quite some time, and we think that we may have found somebody that could give us the information that we need, we will try all kinds of things. We won't lie to the point that we go ahead and throw a government employee like a judge out there. Now, he if he didn't say judge, then he didn't say judge. If you inferred that in your questioning, asking him which judge was it, I mean, hopefully the questioning moved on from there. I'm not trying to defend them. It wasn't a question. But I... No. I've been in a lot of interrogations in my last six months. And I know what we can and we cannot do. It wasn't a question of giving up his DNA. It was, hey, you got to give us your DNA. They literally came in the room saying, you got to give us your DNA. It, yeah, it, it, and he, he said no. Yeah, that, that right there, that they got approval. Look... You know what? I, if it is what it is, I'm going to just go deal with it the way that I know. Because in all honesty, this is a fucked up situation. And so many rights are being violated right now that, you know, this is one of those things that needs to be called into question. If it uh, goes somewhere, it what goes right, somewhere. If it does, what it right does. was What right was violated just so that I'm on the same page as you? Two process have been fucked right here. How so? Literally, he is allowed to have the information, right, of what's going on. To have your officers withhold the information of who gave the okay. Because if I, if I had been told any judge's name, any high command's name, and then gone to you and asked about it, there would have been hell. Because quite literally, due process is getting fucked here. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to be honest. Like, th this whole thing is pissing me off more than it needs okay. to Okay. Because, I, because I, I understand. Trying, they're, they're trying to cover their ass because they know they Good can God, lose their Conan. job for shit like this. And you know it. And with what Jimbo witnessed from fucking Conan down there about this shit, he knows that this is shit that you could get fired for. There are multiple officers that we both know that are getting complaints raised against them every single fucking day. And sooner or later, there's going to be a straw that breaks the camel's back. So can I ask, um, you know, let, let's, um, 
let's bring our emotions down because I, I do want to understand both sides. Is in your previous experience of interrogations, uh, I mean, let's face it, we sometimes play the good cop, bad cop, and yeah, we say things to try and get people to admit things. Uh, that's part of our job. But I don't believe, from what I'm hearing for, from both you now and from Jimbo, that they said any kind of judge. I just want to be clear on that point right there. Right? They they said, we want your DNA. Or we got approval. We Is that correct? We want your DNA. We got approval. I asked who gave you he said, approval. He said, they, let's stand up. Let's grab I, your DNA. I Let me say this. I asked what violent felony has been committed. None. I asked who gave you approval. They would not answer. You're upset and said, hungry. <laughs> again, who gave you permission to get DNA? They would not answer. I then asked, was it a judge? They said, that's none of my business. It is my business as a representative to know that information down in the cells. If they want to, you know, say that kind of stuff down in the cells, sure, go about it. Say, hey, can we get your DNA? Things like that. Go through that means. But doing what they did is extremely fucked up. I, I am just being very honest here. I am telling you that there are issues oh, with the way guys. That things can be handled from here that it could cost uh, the LSPD <laughs> way more than it needs to be. There are so many lawsuits getting put on the docket against the LSPD for many rights being violated. And, you know, I, I could probably go go back to the fucking thing, look at my MDT, take a breather, and look at all the issues that have been raised here. And then it would be a martial instance where, you know, they step in and they deal with it themselves, too. There are so many things that can transpire here, Ruby, and I'm just trying to be very honest with you that having that kind of stuff happen down in the cells... In interrogations, you are allowed to, you know, withhold information to get them to admit to something. But lying to them is another thing. Right? Now, I, I'm going to be I disagree. very honest. I, I disagree with you, but continue. I literally can walk into an interrogation. I can sit down. And if I wanted to, even with a lawyer present... I could say, we've got your DNA, we've got you dead to rights. Sure, what of it? Here, here's the thing, uh, Roman. No. Did, in, in the interrogation room... And I don't have the did, DNA. I don't think that there was any due process or civil rights that were wrong. Civil rights? The way that Conan talked to you, yes, I agree. He should not have spoken to you that way. That will handle as you know inner police matters. You know, Let's should he have talked to you like that? Absolutely I, I, not. I'm, I'm just going to, you know, I've said my piece. I will leave it there. You do what you want with that information. I'm coming forward with it. I'm going to go to other people with it and see what happens. And, you know, what happens, what happens. Okay. But I, I just want to remind you that, I mean, he had his lawyer present. And, and that's that's your job. Uh, you know, and I put a stop to that. No, I put a stop to that right okay. then and there. But the thing is, they kept trying to press and they tried being loud over me to try and say, hey, this is the shit that we can do. And then Jimbo came in to save their ass and he knows that he saved their ass right there. <laughs> so I'm just going to be very honest with it and leave it there. Okay. Yep. All right. <clears throat> All right, guys. <sighs> Thanks, officers. Okay. I wanted to go to bed early. <laughs> Where is he? Holy Get fuck, in here that guy. right now, you that little guy. bugger. Holy fuck. Fuck, that guy bitches like do crazy. Do you huh? want me to go gray at 27? What did I do? What did I do now? Was this bloody the whole hell. Time? Yes! That, that was on the projector the whole time? The whole time.
Ah, oh, Conan. Are you just are you just stun locked and speechless? I'm s <laughs> Okay, listen. I can explain. <laughs> <laughs> I, I actually, what did I do wrong? No, actually, seriously, what did I do wrong? Jimbo, did we do anything wrong? Uh, Jimbo, the door's still wrong. open. The door looks looks pretty wide. Okay, maybe that guy should focus on not losing fucking court cases or shit instead of focusing on this. Do I think that we did anything wrong in the room? No. I actually don't think we did anything did, wrong. Did, did we deceive him? Yes. Okay, that's um, fine, though. Then I, <laughs> no, but I told him to stop, but you talking to him in the manner that you talked to isn't great. Okay, that's fine. Fuck him. He was really bitching about me anyway. I get it. Yeah. Okay. Yes. I understand. Yes. I get that. But he's complained that we did some we did some crazy shit in the cell. We did nothing wrong. We went by the book. Did we <laughs> extend the truth a little bit to try to get him to did admit that he did something? Sure. Yeah. yeah that's, that's, that's like a common thing, though. That's not like we we never said judge. He said I judge. never. I promise you, the he word judge okay. never came out. Okay. 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 All right. We got it. I got it. I I I just don't think he he needs to watch more TV. Because what you can, because you can do about, good though? cop, bad cop. Exactly. He he is saying that the manner in which you that it came across, and that when he asked who gave you approval, you guys said it doesn't matter, and he feels no, that you broke. Listen, listen. He, he feels he feels that you guys violated his person's rights by not telling you who gave approval. Well, we don't have to. We're not the ones under, yeah. you know, Miranda rights. Scrutiny. Exactly. We said none of your concern. We didn't say uh, it doesn't matter. Oh, my gosh. We said it's none of your concern, sir. We got the approval. And then, when, and then Jimbo was like, wait, so you don't uh, want to get demons? I think said it's none of your business. Oh, oh really? Oh, God. Yeah. Well, that's not Listen, that's you can't not have two people being bad cop or cheeky cop. You've got to have one person nice cop and one person cheeky cop, okay? No, but that's fine. But if Kate said that, then he needs to be reprimanded and disciplined. I right, didn't say but anything. if you're working together, you can't both be cheeky cops together. One person cheeky, one person not cheeky. Okay, but like what I'm trying to tell you is none of that came out of my mouth. If Kate <laughs> had said that, that's between you guys and Kate, or maybe you could pass that to the well, sheriff. I wasn't there. Who was but there? I, I, you and Kate? That, that, See, hey, Sergeant I, was uh, here. I Sergeant. <laughs> Sar Sar Sergeant, that was the sergeant. Who now, was in now, the interrogation? It was just uh, me, Kate, and Jimbo. Yeah. The three of you. So two thirds BCSO, right? Now, 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 but here, exactly, exactly. <laughs> now, if that's what the, the BCSO department wants to display during the interrogation, that's on them, Ruby. What as far as about? I, as the LSPD, I didn't, I didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> what, are you what are you talking about? Trying to throw everyone under the bus? And, and on fire was there. You definitely and had food, right? Fire Whoa, was there. three fire fourths. Seventy-five percent BCS. Oh, you're hungry. Okay. Yeah, I'm taking some food off you. I knew uh, he had food on him. I'm just saying I did nothing wrong. I promise you I did everything by the book. Well, by the book. Listen. You've never read the book. True. You've probably never read the SOPs, but that's okay. I have. I did. I swear to God I did. What'd you do? Put it on text to speech? No. Uh, no, I read it. Uh-huh. Explain to me the force of the Matrix Continuum. Okay. First of all, Jimbo, so I'm acting like I was born yesterday. Tell me probable cause and reasonable position difference. Uh, evidence. Yeah, good one. That's actually, uh, you couldn't be worried more than wrong. Anyway, <laughs> listen. Okay. Uh, Ruby, I promise you, I did not. Uh, Ruby, I'm telling you these two complaints listen, today. I did, I did nothing wrong. Here, here's the difference. Here's the difference. I could have gone in there. I could have said the same things as you guys. But because I don't have this cheeky little manner about me, you know, this little air of arrogance that you know everything because you used to be like a cool cop. I, that, oh, that's, that's the me. difference. That's me. That's what we're doing now because that's me because I gave all that off, right? Yeah. And then you know what happened? It oozed all over Cade and he picked it up too and ran with it. Oh, oh. So now it's fuck me. That's what it is. Because I, I don't know. Like that, ago, though. Kate's been doing face clan shit for the past two weeks. What? Okay. Oh, I didn't stutter. Fucking SKTT1 uh, Josh Cade over here. Okay. What? <laughs> okay. I actually don't know what you're talking about. Me yeah. neither. Bro, bro, post. You know what I'm saying? No, I don't. No. You speak I English. Don't. Here's the thing, though. Here's the thing, all right? I did nothing wrong, bro. 
did I say that the only thing I feel that you've done wrong is that you were you're how, how do I put it into an American word? What is another word for cheeky in American? Asshole. <laughs> Uh, a cheeky bugger. <laughs> no, that's but still no, I'm an that's... asshole. I never said asshole. BCSO said asshole. Whoa, 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 whoa! I said smart it, ass, smart ass, smart assiness. I'm just saying the chief gave me approval for this investigation. I'm just the saying. chief. So the words and messages said here do not reflect the opinions of the BCSO and its affiliates in any way. I'm the just chief? saying the chief. The chief gave me approval for all this. Really? Yeah, you can go ask him. You can go ask him. I promise you, hand to God, this guy gave me a, gave me the approval. That's crazy because the chief and I went and spoke to Angel because the chief said that Angel was the one that gave you, or you said Angel gave you a permission. What? I did not say that. What the fuck is going? This is a whole other. Oh my god, I'm getting deja vu from yesterday with Jimbo and this warrant. I'm getting deja vu. I, that, I, just, I never even said I that. I made that up. Hey, I'm I, love HR. I would have never done something like that. Oh, okay. Listen, 